So let's go and get a ticket to Peristicia. Very interesting town that I've always recommended me to visit. Last time I couldn't be able to make it, but this time let's go. Right in the train station. So let's go and get the tickets. The tickets. I prefer to go with the train. I don't know, I like to travel with the train. It's more comfortable for me and I prefer it. It's my favorite way of transport. Transport system right here. get my ticket here. Only a bus that you have to cash in front of the train station and buy a ticket. Ah, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, bye. So, she cannot speak English, so she have to make it uh, uh, translate, uh, Google Translate to be able to talk to him, uh, to explain to me, but it's very friendly. So, it's like, there is no train going there. It's only by bus I can go there. So uh, let me look for the bus. Uh, bus ticket. I don't know where I can get, get bus ticket. Hello. Bus, bus ticket, ticket, bus. Sofia? No, uh, per Peristisha. Autobus? Autobus. How together? Ah. ah, okay. Okay, thank you. So I'm walking down to the bus stop. I think the bus stop will be somewhere here. Let's see how it goes. Hello, excuse me? Yeah. Uh, this is the bus stop to Peristisha? To Peristisha? Yes. Uh, I, honestly, I'm not sure because there is another uh, auto bus. Yeah, they there. told me to come here. Oh, they told you. That. So, what is it like the ticket office here? Uh, it's straight down. Okay. I guess you have to ask the lady straight down in front of us. Ah, okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, usually it says like on this side of the thing. So. Yeah, I guess it doesn't say no. Ah, you can just ask them. Yeah. Okay. So this is a, a bus stop that is in front of the train station. So here yeah, you can cash bus to other uh, like villages or towns around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's cool. And cities, even, I think yeah. even abroad you can go. Ah, to yeah, other countries. Other also. countries, yeah. Okay, like which country? Uh, like I know Istanbul and yeah, I think uh, you can go to Greece, Germany, yeah, Austria, yeah, Belgium, yeah, the, the close countries, yeah, yeah. a lot of countries. Yeah. Okay.
so it's inside it says here it's for sofia okay. and the other tickets are inside oh thank you you, you want to buy us from here, here. Oh, okay thank you very much man thank you thank you so yeah i have to get the ticket okay you have to get the, the ticket and the bus and the bus is leaving like almost every one hour to one hour 45 so now my my boss will be leaving in 10 minutes time platform five they said platform five i think it's here platform five so i'm going to wait so this is my boss so he said it's half hours apart, so we have a lot of buses. Half, every half an hour. Okay, even from, uh, yeah, yeah, even from there to here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's three level. Oh, level. Three level, yeah. okay. Thank Good you very much, man. I really appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So it is three level to Paris teacher from Plodiv. And the young man have just explained to me like every half hour there is bus from there to Plodiv and Plodiv to there. So this is how it is. Let's go and explore. I saw it very late, so I couldn't be able to catch it. I think that's a symbol. I don't know if it's for the World War or it's for the Ottoman Empire's time. I don't know. Paris T-shirt. Paris T-shirt. Okay. We are in Paris T-shirt.
touchdown. Oh, so this is telling Tisha how to get here. It costs three legs. So I don't know which way to go, but I've seen, I'm already seeing some historical uh, thing over this place. So I think the best things to see will be in this part of the town. So here we go. The vlogging begins, you know. I I like it when I'm like in a remote area, places that is not that known to tourists. Uh, where the average travelers don't visit. I love it there. Hello. Hello. I'm trying to go to visit uh, the most attractive place in per Peristitia. This way. Yeah. Museum. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> there are some locals here. You want to say hi to my people? <laughs> so Good, good, good. Good. <laughs> you, you speak little English? No, no, okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> good. So, at the same time, I'm making like a social experiment, how the, the town people uh, react to me as a foreigner. So, as I've said earlier on, this trip is only a trip for just for holiday, just for me to relax, uh, you know, to get refreshed uh, for all the effort and the hard work throughout the year from January to December. So it is um, more of resting moment for me. Uh, but at the same time, I said, hey, let me still walk around and share with you some places I would have loved to share with you the first time I visited Bulgaria. So. Here we go. I'm a little bit, uh, I'm not that fresh, but hey, I still have to give you something so that I don't be an egoist. This is an important place. I don't know if it's a, a museum. Yeah, I think this will be an, the museum of the town. I think, yeah, it's a very... Oh, oh there are a lot of things to see. There is an exhibition going on today. Actually, this is uh, a cultural center. There is the town hall. This is the town hall and cultural center of the town. Uh, it was built in Victim monuments here. It's a war victim monument. I think I have to go this way. Let's explore the Ristisha. This is the town. This is the first time I visited Plodi. They asked me to come to visit. But la last time I couldn't make it. Now I have the chance. So let's go. I think this is another uh, like a museum. Uh, this must be a museum all I hope. Oh, it seems like a church also. There is a thing I'm seeing over there. There is a place over there that I'm seeing. 
and I want to go. I don't know if I can go like this or I can go like this. There's an important monument I'm seeing up there. I don't know if I should go like this or this way. Toronto looks like that of Kopric City, the museum town of uh, uh, Bulgaria. I hope I pronounce it well because that name is so difficult for me to pronounce. I hope I get to drive. I don't know if I can go through this way. Yeah, the houses looks like this. I wasn't really expecting to walk all this long to look at what I have in my feet. It's not easy to walk and explore with these shoes, with Timberlands. I don't know if I can go to... Hello! <laughs> the way I'm going is hop, hop, hop. this way? I don't know. Yeah. I think we can go through this way. I'm building a very beautiful house here. I like it. The way they design the way they design their house. I like it. Not a bad style. It's cool. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> She's kind of, she's hiding and looking at me. <laughs> How the town people react when they see me, see me vlogging. See your young man, I wasn't, uh, the, co the camera was not on. So a young boy just, Come to me, said hi. How are you? It's a pity I cannot capture that place. It's very fun. It's lovely. I don't know if I can go to the mount. I don't know if I'm in the right way. The good is this is where I'm going. This hope there. I don't know if I'm in the right way. I had the best way to go there. Ooh. Ooh, look at it. You see that? That is where I'm going. With these shoes. Oh no. <laughs> So many heels. Why can I get there? Yo. 
This is the right way to get it. And I don't see any way out. I guess I'm like in the wrong. I guess I'm in the wrong way. to go in there. Just exploring <laughs> what we went down. I hope some dogs are not here. Because sometimes here in Bulgaria, the dogs are walking without owners. Oh. Oh. I think I'm not in the right direction. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not in the right way. Oh no. I am not in the right way. I think now I have no way <coughs> to into the unknown in Bulgaria. I have no way down to go down and look for someone to hack. Trying to trace it by myself but couldn't get it to go down. How can I go to that mountain? How can I go to that monument to see that monument? Do we? I want to go to the mountain. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, they are trying to explain, um, direct me. It's not easy. Yeah. It's not easy. Say I should go this way and this way. So.
Hello. I'm kind of confused because I was here and now they are still telling me to go so I don't understand they said okay this I should wait they are coming to meet me here yeah? very friendly elderly people very friendly okay Mm -hmm. Like this, then yeah. up. <laughs> put, put, put your thumb card. I saw a foot. Throw a palmit nicker. Palmit nicker. Uh huh. Now, here we talk. Okay. Here we talk. Okay, thank you. <laughs> they are very friendly. <laughs> so, there is language barrier. What's the name? What's the name? What's the Africa. Africa. Nigeria. А, Нигерия. А, у Нигерия тут знаем. Знаем. Всички държави ги знаем къде се намират. А тук е България. България? Да. Uh, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Петя обща плагира, не? Какво е? Чи няма? Да. О, this is how the hell that is reacting to me and taking care of me. Yeah. <laughs> Help me. me. <laughs> Видиш ли го? Е, там покрива. Е, паметника. От тук. Окей, окей. Ай. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So I was almost, I almost got it. Uh, it's because it is not written in English. So I went to the other way around. So instead of me to come this way, I go the other way. So look at the road there. I took the other way before. Instead of me to take this way. So that is where the hell that is uh, explained to me now. Because it's like a little bit difficult to find young people. Most of the young people have now uh, gone to the city for work or for studies. But hey, this time is holidays. Maybe they might be around. Or maybe I think this is 1 p.m. So maybe in the evening young people can come out. Maybe they are having their lunch now. So... Hey, I'm just exploring this beautiful town full of history with you guys. I hope you guys are also enjoying the journey. I'm a little bit exhausted. Yeah, because from January, I haven't really having at least like three days full rest. I never have. I didn't have rest, so... I am exhausted, so that is why I decided to take this trip to just come and rest. But hey, Joel Tamara don't want to rest, he's still also walking, still also vlogging. So here we go. So don't do like me, try to take time to rest. If you have really, really walked a lot, try to take time to rest. So I think the next couple of days I will be like, don't want to do anything, I just want to rest. Hello. Hello. How are you? The, the um, monument? Yes, this is the monument. If you have to go straight and you can see it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, the old man has directed me very well. I'm very closer to the monument, the hill. Oh, oh, there's a dog there, man. Hey, take it easy, man. What a 
an adventure again not planned i never planned for this one but i decided to just say hey, a lot of stories to share a lot of things to share so i said oh joel you will rest sometime but you still have to vlog still have to visit places look at where we're coming from down 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 you can even have you can even take great pictures from this place of the town because we are top of the hill and it looks down the town the town is down it's just like Capricis uh, the same almost the same style oh, dog dog garden There's a lot of dogs there I'm not going there I don't want problem This is the monument we are coming to see. It's a great monument. The monument of the three generation was erected to mark the hundred years, I think hundred years of the uprising, tenure of the uprising. So if I don't make a mistake, that is what it stands for. So, Consigning the war with the Ottoman Empire and uh, almost the inhabitants of this uh, uh, town was killed uh, during the war. So it's a very historic place, and I think uh, it was about approximately about 2,000 inhabitants back then before the war. Then after the war, it remains only 150. Uh, people, elderlies and kids. So that is why this monument is here to mark the history. So it's a great place to also visit if you like to explore some great site. I think this is uh, okay. Maybe this is the tomb of this person. So. It is a great place in the country. One of the places to visit to learn about history of this country, of the past, what has happened before. This is the three generation monument of Perustich or Perusticha. <laughs> it's difficult for me to pronounce the name correctly. I am alone here. Yeah? I think when I was coming, I met some people, uh, a mom and a daughter. That's all. I'm alone here. Yeah? Exploring Paris Teacher Monument, the three generation monument. A lot of things to see in this. Uh, town a lot of historical things to see hey so if you are in plodif and you have some time it's a day trip it is about 22 kilometers from plodif so you can come you can walk around this town and take great pictures from memories and learn about history so if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time coming across my videos and let me know what you think about the videos and uh, what have you learned in this video and also what do you know about bulgaria share with us i want to learn i want to know and other people can also benefit from your knowledge
really good. Yes, I don't know the water really is that far. That is already numb. Only the deep I can know. So I think it's for be like a tomb for someone maybe. I am from Nigeria. Nigeria? Yeah, but I'm welcome. You live in Bulgaria on, uh, on holiday? Yeah, hol holiday. Holiday. I vlog yeah. around. Are you from this town? Yeah. Okay, what can you tell us about this town? This town? Yeah. A very old town. Okay. Uh, this is a place for the uh, Osman Imperia. Yeah, Osman, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Osman Imperia. Uh, 1876. 1876. I heard yeah. that uh, uh, this town was one of the uh, is very historic during the war yeah. with the Ottoman Empire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, this place, uh, big shatter, shatter, you know what? Sh chateau. Uh, shatter. Uh, like a castle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it was destroyed. Yeah. Here, but. Uh, okay. Uh, so this, where we are, was a big castle before? No, no, no. A big no, chateau? No, 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 no. Uh, Osman, uh, how to say? <laughs> they attacked this place. Uh, they are coming to the city, yeah. uh, in the fire, old city. Yes. Uh, they destroyed the, the city. Yeah, they say it's it, it, old. Uh, uh, almost uh, almost everybody yeah. kill almost everybody mm, yeah. yeah okay oh thank you thank you for sharing thank you <laughs> okay thank you <laughs> yeah. towards my next destination which is about uh, two kilometers away from here uh, hello Hi. And this town is very famous in bulgaria because of the ottoman empire the war during that that time the reign of the ottoman empire so it's a very famous town no wonder they are always asking me to come to visit this place. Okay, and this is the police station of the town. This is the police station of the town. This is how much it costs here. This police station. And look at where I'm going. I started to see the monument now. Oh, we will have about one kilometer five together. Life of a traveler, explorer, explore, explore, explore and learn. I don't know how I can be able to walk, walk down back to where I can catch the bus because I'm really exhausted. <laughs> Wow. 
think around this place a whole like the mechanical place, a lot of mechanic uh, like a garage in this place here. So there are some garage out there, the trailers inside there. And just around this place is only garage. Yeah, I think it's also where they sell building stuff, building materials. Yeah. Yeah, woods and also granite, something inside. For woods, yeah. Like they are, they are reconstructing the road. Uh, we we can walk. There is no proper way yet. There is no proper way yet to walk. of companies uh, in this place for building materials, mechanic and all in this area. Little, like asket of uh, the town. Asket of the town. Wow. I couldn't believe I can walk more than 200 kilometers, uh, more than two kilometers with, this, with the timberlands. Now I'm like 180 meter from the, the Red Church. So, came all the way two kilometers, 2.1 kilometer. And now I'm right here. Oh, I cannot believe that I'll make it. Let's go and see the Red Church. So I said earlier on, very famous because of the war against the reign of the Ottoman Empire. This is where the Red Church is. I don't know, I don't know if you have to pay to get in. Let me see. This is like the opening hours and all. But it is all written in Bulgarian language, so and it's difficult to understand me. I don't know if you have to pay to get in. Red Church Visitors Center. So let me ask if someone can tell me quickly some of the history behind this Red Church and this place. And uh, maybe to know if we have to pay to get in or we can just walk around, you know. Get some information about this place. The site was selected by the national authorities as a priority for rehabilitation and awarded in 2009 as part of the integrated rehabilitation project plan survey of the architect and archaeological heritage event action of the European Commission and the Council of Europe. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Is, is it free to go to see? You have to take a ticket. You have to take a ticket. Okay. How much it costs? Four levels. Four levels. Okay. Hi. I have to take a ticket to go to see the... Yes. Uh, four level, Two euro. Okay. Two euro, four level. Okay. For the, for, for the red church. Okay, for the right to the church. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So 
So what does the shosh really stand for? Um, what, can I... you, what can you tell me about the shosh? I um, mean in English here. Okay. 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 Poor labor. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. In English here is right. Okay. So the ticket to go directly to the church costs you four levels. For you. For you is the ticket. Okay. See. But it is destroyed now. Uh, what? Please? The church is destroyed now. Yes, uh, it's destroyed. Hmm. Okay, how to go? How can uh, I? How to one uh, talk so for my English? No problem. Uh, from here to 300 meters left. To 300 meters left from here. Okay, go like this. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. So, this is also what you can see in this town. This is the church that has been destroyed. It is one of the symbol of the town. The unique church that has been destroyed. This is one of the symbol of the town. So if you're around Plodif, don't hesitate to check out this town. And uh, you can learn about the history of this town and also Bulgaria. So this is how it is. I'm tired. <laughs> Let me go and have my lunch. <laughs> and uh, see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Ciao. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos as I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.